I am super excited to try this smoked te Texas brisket. Um, there are some things where, you know, I can make them at home good <laughs> chicken breast, um, you know, pork stir fries and stuff like that, uh, which so I still enjoy, you know, getting them. But when there's something that um, like this, that's smoked brisket, where I just don't really have the skills or the ability to make a giant smoked brisket here at my house, uh, I get even more excited. So I'm going to make this. Uh, we'll look at the calories and macros and stuff real quick. 250 calories per serving, four servings per container, zero carbs, uh, 34 grams of protein, 11 grams of fat, very um, keto carnivore friendly ingredients. We got br beef brisket, brisket marinade, um, and it just has like a broth that has beef renderings, water, carrot, celery, onion, and salt and pepper. So um, very, very clean ingredients. The um, heating instructions have been the same on all of the different just meat um, things I've tried. You just open them up, put them in a medium high um, skillet on the stove, add your sauce and heat for two minutes and don't overcook. brisket marinade. Ooh, look at that. That looks amazing. It smells really smoky. It smells really good. Get our marinade in there. Basically just some broth and heat for two minutes. Oh. See this? What do you think? You want to try some? I'll try a little. Try a little. Okay. I'll eat Okay. Yeah, and usually brisket is really good with some barbecue sauce, so you could add that if you decide you like it. Mm. All right, you ready? I've had this before. You've had it before? Yeah, we've had we've had brisket before. We get it at, like at restaurants and stuff. Usually, we don't make it at home much. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Do you want some right now? No. No. For a side on this one, I am stir frying up some Napa cabbage in just the drippings from the meat. I thought that would be really good. I'll probably add some seasoning, at least some salt, uh, maybe some Redmond seasoned salt. That's always my go-to whenever. It's good on everything. There is my lunch. You can see that nice smoke ring on the brisket. I got my sauteed cabbage and I got a couple pickles for some flavor. It's not like 100% fall apart. Sometimes brisket can be like, you just can't keep it in a piece. It just disintegrates. Um, this one I think is gonna have some chew to it. Gonna give that a taste. Mm. Flavor is super good. Mm, 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 mm. There's enough salt. I didn't have to add salt. It's got really good flavor, even without having any added carbs or anything with really simple <clears throat> ingredients. It's super good. Um, so it's not like fall apart tender, like mush, um, but it is tender. It's not too chewy. It's It's good. I think this is one of my favorites so far. Again, because it's just not something I make at home. There's nothing wrong with, you know, the stuff that I can also make at home, but it's like if I can make it at home, I'm just not quite as excited about it. But this, this is delicious. Look at that pink smoke ring there. Mm -mm -mm. It is such a hot day today. Um, it's in the 90s and we're getting real close to the hundreds, which is pretty hot for us. We don't get that a lot. <laughs> um, so anyways, it is hot. And we have just been out and about running errands all afternoon, like the hottest part of the day. We just got home. The kids are down in the cool basement watching a movie. And I really don't feel like cooking, but I am hungry. And so this is where the Just Meats um, prepared meat, I, I, I don't know what to call them, entrees. They're not meals because they're not like full meals unless you only eat that. Um, I guess entrees. I don't know. Uh, one of the Just Meats entrees comes in really handy because 
typically when I'm in a situation like this where I don't have anything planned for dinner, we've been busy, I'm a little bit tired, I don't really feel like pulling a bunch of stuff out and making a full meal, that is when I rely on things like Greek yogurt, cheese and salami, um, cottage cheese. I will pull out just like snacky stuff and typically the snacky stuff is really, really dairy heavy. And I have no problem with dairy. Um, I utilize it a lot and so I'm not trying to like cut it out, but there have been days where I go back and look at my food log and it's just like dairy, 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 <laughs> and it's just too much. Um, and it's just so easy to rely on because dairy always sounds good. First of all, I can always eat some yogurt. I can always eat some cottage cheese. I can always eat some cheese slices, especially with some salami. And it's just really easy to rely on it when I'm having a busy day. So the Just Meats entrees are coming in really handy for those times where I'm like, I've already had dairy or I want to, you know, try to be moderate with my dairy. So that is when the Just Meats entrees come in really handy where it's a quick and easy, non-dairy, meat-heavy meal that I can make just as quickly and easily as, you know, pulling out some Greek yogurt or something. So anyways, I am about to head down and see what I have left. I know I have a pork dish and I have a chicken dish um, and I'm gonna grab one of those for dinner. All right, these are the two I have left. I think I'm gonna do the Hawaiian chicken teriyaki tonight. I think Levi will be excited about this. This one is chicken thigh. So the last chicken um, dish that I had was chicken breast. So excited to see how the chicken thigh is. Ooh, that looks good. And the teriyaki marinade. As far as macros on this one, we got 220 grams, uh, or 220 calories per serving. Uh, nine grams of fat per serving, three grams of carbs, and 25, no, 28 grams of protein. It smells super good. It smells like what you would get from a teriyaki shop. All right, putting some toasted sesame seeds on my chicken. I got a little over six ounces here. I should put some toasted sesame seeds on my salad. I just made a quick cucumber salad. It's just chunks of cucumber with some green onion chopped in there. And then I mixed in some chili onion crunch uh, from Trader Joe's and just like a teaspoon of coconut aminos. Um, and that'll be nice and fresh with the chicken. All right, I'm gonna do a taste test. I'm using my fancy china today. Uh, you know, busy day, I'm trying to keep it simple. So we'll do a little taste test here. So I love chicken teriyaki. It's one of my all-time favorite meals. So good. And this is really good. I like that it's only three carbs per serving. So you get, you know, the nice sweetness like a ter teriyaki should be. A little sweet. But it's not like a syrupy, overpowering sweetness. The chicken is pretty tender. Um, like it's a grilled chicken. You can see the grill marks on there. It's really good. I think it's very solid. I didn't. I don't feel like I need to add a whole bunch of seasoning or more teriyaki sauce or anything like that. I say this is good. Definitely recommend pairing with a nice crisp cucumber salad. This is a winner. Dinner tonight is going to be the Texas pulled pork from Just Meats. Um, let's see the ingredients here. Pork shoulder. Marinade includes pork renderings, water, carrot, celery, onions, salt, and pepper. Super simple ingredients, zero carbs, 15 grams of fat per serving, 30 grams of protein per serving, 270 calories. I was thinking that a coleslaw would be really good with this. So I'm going to whip that up first and then we will get the pulled pork cooked. Same cooking instructions as ever in a medium high skillet on the stovetop. Coleslaw dressing is not hard to make, but I have this bit of this poppy seed dressing that I'd like to use up. And I think I'm gonna just thin it out a little bit because it's kind of thick. I'm gonna thin it out with some apple cider vinegar and probably add some additional sweetener, 
probably allulose because um, I like my coleslaw on the sweeter side. And I think that's probably all I'll need. This isn't a ton and this is a fair amount of coleslaw mix. So I might have to add a little bit more like mayo and stuff and doctor it up. Um, but I'll at least, you know, get this finished up and out of the fridge. That's about as good as I can get it. I did have to doctor it up quite a bit. I put in some cream. I put in some sweetener. I put in uh, apple cider vinegar, salt, pepper, garlic, onion, celery salt. Uh, just trying to get it to be decent and it's decent. A more simple classic coleslaw would probably be better, but just trying to use up what's in the fridge. So it'll do. So this is another one that um, is a great option for me because I don't make a lot of smoked meat. I really would like to get into it more. It's just a lot of work uh, to you know get proficient at it and it takes time and effort and different accessories. <laughs> and so to be able to you know get some delicious smoke flavor you know in the meat without actually having to do it myself is a bonus. It smells nice and smoky. I'm going to get a serving here. That's about one serving, about four ounces. I got my pulled pork and my coleslaw, and I added a little bit of barbecue sauce for good measure. And um, I'm imagining this combination would be really good in any kind of a sandwich with whatever bread you like or in a wrap or something like that. It would be really, really delicious. Okay, ready to do a taste test. It is not dry for sure, especially because you put that um, that broth on there. It's basically like a broth. There's my bite. It has a good amount of salt. Um, it doesn't have a ton of seasoning. You know, it's pretty simple as far as the seasonings go, but I think pulled pork usually needs some kind of a sauce with it. So I think for a pulled pork, it's pretty solid. I do. I am glad I have a little bit of barbecue sauce here. Mm -hmm. Definitely solid. Um, I can taste the smoke. It is smoky. It's nice and fatty, although not too fatty. I don't like like huge chunks of fat in my pulled pork, but you don't want it dry. That's the thing is you don't want like really lean and dry with all the fat taken away. So I feel like there's a good amount of fat mm. oh yeah now with the um with the um coleslaw it's a little bit of the sweet crunchy coleslaw and a little bit of the barbecue sauce that's where it's at yeah that is very very good i really like this pork i think this is one that i would reorder often because it's so versatile and again, it's not something that I make at home very often. I mean, I don't make pork shoulder at home very often, even in the oven, but definitely not smoked. And you can use it in so much. You can use it in tacos and burritos. You can use it in soups, or you could just eat it straight like this with some crunchy coleslaw, lots and lots of different options. And it's like fall apart tender and like super soft, not dry. That would That is the worst when you don't quite cook the pork shoulder enough and it's like chewy and not like fall apart tender but this is cooked to perfection definitely definitely a good one so there are another three options from just meats tasted for you guys i may be getting some new things to try here pretty soon um i have another box coming and some of the things in there were repeats but um i believe some of them were also new so i will try to keep reviewing these as i get them I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you again in the next one.